In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use PuTTY to connect to either a router or a switch through the console port of the device. Uh, in this video, we're assuming that you already have a physical cable connection connected from your computer to the console port of that device you're trying to connect to. So once you have that physical connection set up, you just need to open the PuTTY program, either by double-clicking or by accessing it through the Start menu on your computer. Uh, you can see once PuTTY is open, you've got a couple different connection options. Uh, probably the three most common ones are going to be Telnet, SSH, or Serial. Uh, if you're using either Telnet or SSH, uh, you would also need the IP address of the device you're trying to connect to. Uh, for this lab, we're directly connected to our device, so we'll use the Serial connection. Uh, the other piece of information you would need is the COM port uh, of your computer that you're using to connect to your router switch. Now if you don't know your COM port, uh, one way you can access it is by right clicking on computer, going to properties, and then click on device manager. And you can access device manager other ways, but once you get to device manager, what you'll want to do is expand the ports section, and there you should see the communications port. On my laptop, it's COM1. So I know what, once I go back to PuTTY, I'll need to use COM1 to connect to my switch. Uh, if you double click on your COM port, you can get to some other settings. There is a port settings tab, and that's where you can set things like speed and some other options for your uh, serial port on your computer. For this lab, um, the default settings will work, so we'll leave that as it is. Uh, so just make note again, we're using COM1. And then we'll go back to PuTTY. COM1 is the default, so I don't need to change this. If I was using COM1 or COM2, I would just simply enter that in this box. Uh, so once I have my COM port selected, I have serial selected, I just click open. And the PuTTY window will open. Once you hit enter, you should, should see the command prompt uh, for your device. 